morning I thought I would make some pancakes and of course with pancakes you've got to have bacon so I'm getting that ready now and this is what I do I cook my bacon in the microwave it's quick it's clean that is some good looking bacon right there folks it's quick and it's clean so I put a paper towel on the bottom and then I lay a paper towel right on top and I will put it in the microwave I've got my skillet warming up I've got to have an egg and I'll show you how I do this process I take an egg and I break it into a bowl a small bowl then I will get my We're just going to make a couple and then whatever's left over I'll make a big one for Hulk. So I put in the flour, remember I'm a dump cook, I just dump it in there till I think it looks right, dash of salt, about a teaspoon of sugar. and a big teaspoon of baking powder. All right, that's my dry ingredients. And I mix up these dry ingredients real good. Then into my egg, I put a little milk this time I'm using corn oil, a dash of corn oil, and my secret ingredient, a little dash of vanilla. Then I commence, I'm going to do this over the sink in case I splash some, which I did. Then my wet ingredients I mix up real good. Beat that egg in there. Mix it with the vanilla and the oil. Alright, then I go to my flour. And begin to mix. My dad taught me how to make pancakes and he said never Completely mix it until all of the lump crap. He said you want to leave some lumps. Now I'm going to turn my skillet up. I had it warming, but it was on very low. I want that batter just a little thinner. So my mixture. Seem to be just right here. Now if my mixture is a little wet and I think it's not, may need just, I need to buy some flour I guess if I don't have some in the pantry. So just another teaspoon or so of flour in there so I can get the 
the right consistency. And that looks like it, folks. Now I'm going to put some oil. in my skillet I'm going to turn it up just a little and then I'm going to start putting all of my ingredients up out of the way I don't I do not like clutter And I do not like dirty dishes. So if you'll notice, the first thing I do when I start to cook is I run a sink full of dishwater. That way I can clean up as I go. And get rid of my eggshell. Today is trash day, so I need to get the trash ready. And I see I've made a a little mess over here on my prep counter so I'll clean that up with my dish rag and we are ready to go now I'm gonna turn that back down to just a little past medium Get my old trusty spatula out of the drawer there. Get me some butter. Put my eggs up. And my bacon up. what I'm going to do. I keep this little pitcher here and that's where I do my butter. So while that skillet is getting to the right temperature, I'm going to take my bacon out and melt this butter for about 40 seconds. And then I've got my butter melt. Oh, I was about to forget. I eat peanut butter Ooh. hopefully that's enough syrup I eat peanut butter on my pancakes and I see you notice there's some bumps still in there Turn that down a little. The first pancake usually never comes out. All right, my butter is melted. My syrup and peanut butter is there. Put my bacon back in. Set it for two minutes and 30 seconds and start it cooking. Now, the one thing I do not have is my plate. So I've got it ready. The first pancake is cooking. I'm going to go ahead and open up my peanut butter. And retrieve my spatula here. When it begins to, that's a little brown, so that one will go to Hank, I mean Hank. <laughs> Hank is a dog that I had many years ago. He was a miniature something or other, I've forgotten right now. We'll let this test one cook. I like that brown ridge around the edge.
it ought to be done. And distribute my oil. And we'll make this one a little larger. than the test one. I hear the bacon popping. We'll sit here and watch that forget. It's cooking good around the edges. I want to get a saucer to get put hawks. The miniature dog I was talking about a minute ago was a miniature pincher. Back when I had him, I was doing a lot of traveling and he didn't travel well. So I let my sister Myrtle keep him and she took him over and kept him until he got old and we had to put him down. It's about ready. That's the way I like them, right there. So we'll let that cook. Hulk's already had his breakfast, but he's going to get a couple of pancakes for supper. He's not as particular as I am. So he'll eat them cold. He likes anything that I eat. If I eat it, then he thinks it's good. I was looking out the window. I saw one of the mama cows nursing the baby. It's baby a while ago. Now I've got to get my pork and my knife ready to put on my... Now let's look at this bacon. Needs another minute. Depends on the bacon. All right, let's look at the bottom just right. Now I'm going to put just a tad more oil in my skinny skillet and get this pancake to go in. About two and a half spoons is what I did on the other one. And I'll retrieve my melted butter. Which I will dab over my pancake. And I'll get a hefty helping of peanut butter. Which is not enough. Oh, and you notice I like crunchy. Well, I like peanut butter. Doesn't matter, really. Let's just say I... prefer crunchy. Alright, so we're through with the peanut butter. get my syrup and I like Brookshire's butter pecan syrup if you haven't tried it you need to give it a try all right I put a little syrup right there on top and I'm going because I have to have milk with my pancakes and I keep a glass of milk ready because I nurse on it 
during the day. That's more than I'll drink. I've got that ready. This pancake is ready to turn and it's just perfect. There's a little spot. Now let's check our bacon just right. Out it comes and it can sit right there covered and I'll let you look at it. Now is that perfect or not? All right, I'm going to turn this way down. We'll look at the bottom. Needs to cook just a little more. Turn it back up. Looking outside, I can see the chickens are out hustling. That looks ready. Put it right on top of the other. And get Hawks next one ready. He'll have two nice pancakes. And I'll get my dishes sort of cleaned up. Put my bacon over here. That's ready. I'm going to put just a dab, a little dab of do you of butter right on top of that pancake. And that's the end of my butter pecan syrup. That ought to be plenty. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on 